President Joe Biden is expected to announce a decision sometime soon. A lot of people waiting for this mm -hmm. one about whether he's going to try to cancel some federal student loan debt. It's taken some patience for this announcement. Some people are bringing up promises they say he made on the campaign trail. Casey Decker verifies what then candidate Biden actually said. President Biden is considering plans to forgive some student loan debt, but some activists say the proposals he's looking at now don't measure up to the promises he made on the campaign trail. One viral tweet reads, quote, Biden ran on canceling all your federal student debt if you went to an HBCU or public college and make under $125,000. Let's verify. When he was running for president, did Joe Biden propose forgiving all federal student debt for borrowers who attended public or historically black colleges and have annual incomes below $125,000? Our sources, a post on Medium by then candidate Biden, the Democratic Party, and video from a town hall held in Miami a month before the election. In April of 2020, Biden wrote a blog post about his ideas for helping out folks struggling in the pandemic economy. One of those ideas, quote, I propose to forgive all undergraduate tuition related federal student debt from two and four year public colleges for debt holders earning up to $125,000. He said this would also apply to HBCUs and MSIs, minority serving institutions. The same language appeared in the official Democratic Party platform, which was approved at the 2020 Democratic National Convention. And then during an NBC town hall in October of 2020, Biden referenced a version of the same plan when answering a question about the economic obstacles facing young people. That's why I'm going to eliminate a lot of your student debt. If you, in fact, are if you come from a family less than 125 grand and you went to a, a public university. So we can verify, yes, when he was running for president, Joe Biden proposed forgiving all federal student debt for borrowers who attended public or historically black colleges and have annual incomes below $125,000. With your Verify, I'm Casey Decker. At least two lives lost this morning as police investigate two separate homicides, a fire station at the center of one of them and the other near Marta. What well, we know just ahead in your 11 minutes of nonstop news. You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Storms are moving in on us on this Friday morning. Let's send it straight over to Chesley McNeil. Hi, Chesley. Some of those storms could be on the strong severe side, so we'll watch that. I think we'll get some initial light showers. You can see off to the west over toward Anniston right now. See a darker green in there by 8 o'clock hour. Some of that could be moving over toward us, but it's by the 10 11 o'clock hour that we'll start to see the very heavy rain push in and some stronger storms begin to move our way. A level three threat or an enhanced risk over much of our area. Yesterday's time we had a uh, slight risk or the yellow uh, over us, so it, it has come up a little bit as far as our probability for a strong severe thunderstorm, especially the winds hail the possible and also tornadoes are possible as well. Timing for this you see the light rain ahead of it will come in as we head toward the noon hour here at noon and this is our uh, enhanced 
uh, model here and it does show where we got some heavy rain that will push into the area. Some embedded thunderstorms, possibly some tornadoes are certainly possible as we head through the one two o'clock hour through the metro and then that will shift over toward the east once we get toward three and four o'clock this afternoon where we'll begin to clear it out. So here is your threats. High as far as the wind threat goes. Winds up to about 60 miles per hour. Low threat for tornadoes, but it's still there. So we have to watch for that. And then a moderate risk for some hail. Hail could be the size of about an inch. Uh, and that could do some damage as well, especially with power outages as far as the winds blowing those trees over on power lines. So make sure you're ready. Go ahead and download our app now. You can have it right there on your phone just in case your power goes out. You can still get those alerts. Guys, back to you. An update to breaking news in Southwest Atlanta. In the last five minutes, we spoke to the Atlanta's police homicide commander, and we've learned this homicide happened right before 5 a.m. The investigation right now is at a fire station on Fairburn Road and where at least one person is dead here. Our crew is there right now, and we will get another update from police coming at any moment.